A mass amounts of people, alcohol, drugs and fights led to the closure of a mid-Michigan beach. TV5's Cody Koshinsky reports on how Caseville businesses were affected by the explosive event on the 4th of July. You can always count on the Caseville County Beach being packed for 4th of July weekend. But for Tanya Archambo, who grew up here and works at the Thumb Brewery. It was amazing. You'll be coming back for more? It's never been quite like this. I've personally never seen that many people on the beach. It was, it was a little overwhelming. It was a little uh, intimidating to walk into that, not expecting that from this family-oriented town. The Huron County Sheriff's Office says more than 2,000 people spent Independence Day on the beach, resulting in 144 emergency responses in the area. On the beach alone, there were two drug overdoses, another from alcohol, and someone was found unconscious after a fight. At first it was complete chaos. We were just all of a sudden very, very packed. There was a lot of people in the area and then all of a sudden we heard nonstop ambulances and fire trucks and the sirens. Officers had to close the beach while responding to emergencies and once it opened back up, Tanya went down to see the aftermath. I would say that there is certainly an increase in foot traffic this year. There's a larger crowd with the younger adults with the college age students this year. While the increase in foot traffic has boosted business, Tanya hopes it's a little different next year. I just hope that next year people remember that there are families vacationing in this town, that we are a family community and drink wisely, just be smart. In Caseville, Cody Kaczynski, WNEM, TV5.